Okay, here we are in module three, lesson 11, video two. And what we're looking at is some equations. And these are really going to help you to show that you understand the values of fractions. And you're going to see these kind of problems in tests. So that's why I wanted to make sure I go over it. I kind of skipped it from the last video. Um, one third of 15 versus five thirds of 15. Now, you know, when they give you those problems and they say, don't evaluate, try to solve without evaluating, like you're just going to estimate. So think about that one third versus five thirds. If we multiply by one third, it's going to be less than 15. If we multiply by five thirds, because that's more than one, then our answer is going to be more than one. So we automatically know without doing any math that the first one is less than the second one. You see that? Okay, let's try this one. Four thirds times 43 fiftieths versus one third of 43 fiftieths. Now our 43 fiftieths is staying the same and that's looking kind of complicated, but we can see here three fourths of it or one fourth of it. It's like asking you, do you want three fourths of my donut or one fourth of my donut, right? The one fourth is going to be smaller. So the three fourths is greater. The one fourth is smaller. How about one twelfth times 87 hundredths versus nine tenths of 12 thirteenths? Now, first of all, we just switched the order, so don't let that confuse you. See, these are both 12 thirteenths. Now, here's the tricky thing 87 hundredths or nine tenths. Nine tenths sounds smaller, but could you change it to an equivalent fraction by multiplying it by 10 over 10? So 9 tenths is the same as 90 hundredths. Now, which one's bigger? This one's going to be bigger because 90 hundredths is closer to 1 versus 87 hundredths is less than 1. So that's, I mean, it's only by 3 hundredths, right? But this one is closer to 1. So this one is going to be greater and this one's going to be less than. Do you see that? Okay. I just wanted to make sure we went over that. Um, and now we're going to jump back to number three in your book, which is about Blake. And there's only going to be two videos in this lesson because we are um, getting through them nicely. So here's our last problem. Blake has three feet of ribbon. And we're going to think about what's important and we're going to highlight or underline. So let's say three feet of ribbon. He uses three fourths of the ribbon for a project. And then he gives his friend one half of the remaining ribbon. Once again, there's that word remaining left over. Okay. And then the question is, what fraction of ribbon does Blake give to his friend? So let's get a shape here and let's make a tape diagram. Here's our ribbon. And how much ribbon is it? It's three feet of ribbon. That's important because that's what we're starting with. Three feet of ribbon. And he uses three fourths of it. So that means we need to break our tape diagram into four parts. And they don't have to be perfect. You know, none of us can draw that perfectly. We're just going to put it in there and then I'm going to use my highlighter to kind of color in three fourths, right? Three out of four. And I might also mark it down here. This is my three fourths. This is what I'm using for the project. Project equals three fourths. Now we don't have to figure out what's three fourths of three feet. They're not asking us that. They're asking us what fraction does Blake give to his friend? So let's get a different color here. He gives one half of the remaining. You see the remaining here? This is what's left over, just this one fourth over here. But he doesn't give the whole thing. He gives half of it. So now that we broke that into halves, we have to break everything into halves. Remember, with tape diagrams, we do the same thing to everything and with fractions as well. So now instead of fourths, now we have eighths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighths. And he gives half of that fourth, which is one eighth to his friend. Do you see that? You want to do it mathematically really quickly? 
we could take one whole and subtract three fourths, right? Because that's how much he used. He had one whole. It didn't ask us about the measurements. They like to throw it in there to trick you, right? And then he had one fourth left over. Sorry, well, let me draw the equal sign over there. So one minus three fourths equals one fourth. And then one fourth, he gives a half of that. One half times one fourth equals one eighth right there. And we do need to write it in a sentence because we answer our sentence, our word problems with words. So Blake gives one eighth of the ribbon to his friend. And we totally didn't need to know that it was three feet long or anything like that. That's just thrown in there to confuse you. Sorry, I'm trying to move it, but it's not moving very well. So there you go. Please make sure you wrote your answer down. Pause me if you need me. Rewind me if you need me. I'm here to help you. And I really appreciate your hard work. Aloha. Aloha. Have a great day.